I'm amazed he's doing as well as he is. After all, he is a boy and a car. Being one or the other is hard enough. Every parent dreams of what their child might become. A doctor, a lawyer, a politician. Our son, well, he's a car. <laughs> he is. He's a car. Well, I'm not gonna lie. It hasn't been easy, but my parents have done a really good job of making me feel normal. Good on, car boy. We were concerned that Carboy would have trouble making friends, what with him being different and all, but he and that Olsen boy down the street hit it off just like two peas in a pod. Except that one of the peas is a car. Tag, you're it! Carboy and I have uh, been friends since first grade. Uh, we've done lots of fun things together. We were in the Scouts together. Uh, we went trick-or-treating. Trick-or-treat! I like to think that Carboy's always been there for me, and I've always been there for Carboy. Kenny's been a great friend. I mean, we've done a lot of fun things together, but there are some things a best friend just can't do if you get my drift. That's why I'm so lucky to have Darla. Carboy's the best boyfriend any girl could ask for. I mean, he always brings me flowers and opens his door for me. He's a perfect gentleman, really. It was actually embarrassing. I met Darla in gym class when I accidentally backed over her. She was pretty cheesed about it. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I figured out a pretty good way to win her over. Tell me what could be good enough for you, good enough for me. Making's been kind of a challenge, but we found a way to make it work. I'm not exactly sure what I should do. Try playing with the seatbelts a little bit. Oh, oh, mm. Okay. He does get depressed sometimes. And people haven't always been kind to him. Go home, honky! But he always bounces back. You know, we really couldn't be any prouder of our son. Even if he weren't a car. All I want is to be treated like any other 17-year-old. I'm just like anyone else. I put my tires on one axle at a time. <laughs>